Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm showcasing one of Sony's brand new Bluetooth headphones. The Sony Alt Wear is an interesting model if you're looking for some headphones with good noise cancellation and tons of features. Starting with the presentation, I really like the design of the box, probably because I like black boxes. Inside, everything is very well presented, and the headphones come with a case for storage, a jack cable, and a very short USB-C cable. The case is semi-rigid, which is something all headphones in this price range should include. The design is very similar to other Sony models, like the XB910 or the Fuzzin XM4. They are made entirely of plastic, which makes them lighter, but you can tell they are well built. The only metal part is the headband. The cups can rotate for more comfortable use, and they can also be folded to take up less space when transporting them. These are over-ear headphones, as the cups completely cover the ears. They are not especially large cups, but they do not rub my ears inside, which always helps them not to bother. They put a lot of pressure on the head, which can make them uncomfortable if worn for a long time. Maybe with use and over time, this tension will loosen, but initially they are a bit tight. The pads are soft, just like the upper part of the band. They are quite light, weighing only 255 grams. They are available in three colors, off-white, black, and forest gray. Surrounding the left cup, there is the alt button, which enhances the bass. Then it has the headphone jack, the USB-C port, the power button, which also serves to pair Bluetooth, and the button to activate noise cancellation, which we can also use for other functions. On the left cup, there is no buttons, as the entire side panel is touch-sensitive. If we slide our finger up, the volume increases. If we slide it down, the volume decreases. If we slide our finger forward, it skips to the next song. And if we slide it back, it goes to the previous song. If we tap it twice, it plays or pauses the music. And if we hold it, it activates the assistant. We can also answer and reject calls. The controls work very well and are easy to use. It's good that there's no single touch, as this prevents many accidental touches, although sometimes when adjusting them you might touch something you shouldn't. They come with Bluetooth 5.2, which is surprising since the Oldfield 1 speaker has version 5.3. I don't know why they haven't used the same version on these headphones. The signal range is the usual. You can go through up to four walls, but if we go further, the music cuts off a lot. They have the option of connecting two devices at the same time, so we could be watching a movie on the TV or tablet, and if we get a call, we can answer it with the headphones. Each cup has two microphones for noise cancellation and hands-free use. On their website, they indicate that thanks to precise voice pickup technology, a wind reduction structure, and multidirectional microphones, we will enjoy clearer and better calls. Sony doesn't indicate the battery capacity, but it says that they can last up to 30 hours with active noise cancellation and up to 50 hours if we turn it off. This will always be at medium volume. For me, at 50%, they already sound loud enough, so this battery life can be quite real. They have fast charging, and with just 3 minutes of charge, you can get 90 minutes of music, which is fantastic. What I don't like is the cable, which is only 30 centimeters long. I don't understand why they make such short cables now, because you practically have to have the plug right next to where you're going to connect them. Luckily, the jack cable is longer, because the Bluetooth does not work if we are charging them, but it can charge while we are listening to music through the auxiliary. This also allows us to use them if they do not have charge. The problem is that most phones no longer have headphone outputs, but with some adapters they can always be connected to the USB. Each cup has a 40mm driver with a neodymium magnet. They can reach a very high volume. According to their website, they can go up to 110 decibels via Bluetooth and up to 100 decibels with cable. I don't know who would be able to turn them up to the maximum because even at a little over half volume, they already sound very loud to me. For data lovers, through Bluetooth they operate in a frequency range of 20 to 20,000 Hz and by cable from 5 to 20,000 Hz. By cable, they have an impedance of 32 ohms, so we can use them with the phone without issues. The sound quality is fantastic, mids and highs sound sharp, and if we activate the alt button, the bass is very powerful. Even without raising the volume much, they have strong bass, which is great if you like to listen to electronic music. They are compatible with the LDAC codec, which triples the amount of data you can receive via Bluetooth, ensuring an excellent connection. For that, your phone also needs to be compatible with LDAC, but many models already are. After trying them both by cable and by Bluetooth, I prefer the sound when connected by cable. It seems clearer and sharper to me, and it also reaches a higher volume with the cable. The power delivery is more linear. With Bluetooth, the volume increases significantly at the end, 
but with the cable, you can keep it lower and still get a higher volume. But now we move on to the most interesting feature of this model, noise cancellation. This model has the Sony V1 processor, the same as the Thousand XM4, so we already know it performs very well. Sony doesn't specify how many decibels this model can cancel, but it's one of the best cancellations I've tried. Passive cancellation is already very good because the headphones fit perfectly to the head. As usual, cancellation works super well with low and constant sounds, such as the noise of a plane or a train. If we are listening to music at 50%, you practically do not even realize what is sounding around. With these headphones, we can travel without any outside noise bothering us, which is their main purpose. We can also activate noise cancellation even when using the headphones with cable, but they need to have charge for that. The ambient mode has 20 levels of sensitivity, allowing us to adjust it to our preference. If we set it to level 20, the external sound is heard as if we weren't wearing headphones, even while listening to music at a decent volume. It also has an adaptive sound control function, which adjusts noise cancellation and ambient mode based on your location. To configure this and many other features, we need to download the Sony headphones app. Summarizing, for 180 euros, these are Bluetooth headphones with fantastic sound and excellent noise cancellation. The sound quality is top-notch, whether using Bluetooth or cable. The noise cancellation is also among the best available. A Sony 1000 XM4 costs 220 euros, and while I would need to compare them in person, I don't think there's much difference between the two. The only thing I don't like about this model is that it presses on the head, and after a while, it becomes uncomfortable around the ears and the top of the head. Surely over time they won't squeeze as much, but it's something to keep in mind. I'll leave the link to the Sony website in the description below, in case you want to check out the features. And if you liked the video, you can subscribe to the channel for free. See you in the next video.